Alright guys, I'm uh, going to take you through our bulletproof shoulder routine. Basically there's kind of two things we talk about in terms of like joint health. It's mobility and stability. We work a lot on the mobility stuff with K-Star site and everything like that. But all the mobility in the world is going to help you out unless you have the stability to kind of hold that new range of motion in place. So we kind of use this uh, bulletproof shoulder routine to kind of work on that stability so we own the new range of motion, not just renting it for a little while. So what we have is a whole bunch of different exercises. We kind of run through them back to back to back one to the next to the next and it kind of like gets you uh, set back, shoulders back and get you all that tightness through the, uh, the back and shoulders that we're looking for. So the first move we do is uh, side plank. Side plank is on the side, just what it sounds like. If you're hearty like Mel is or if you're a delicate flower like me, you can use a mat to kind of protect your shoulder. She's pretty hearty though. From there you pop your, uh, you pop on your side, stiff as a board. You're going to reach your, uh, you're going to reach through underneath and then come up and expand your shoulder blades real tight back here. Reaching back through and back again. We're trying to, the big goal here is trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, reaching through and squeezing the shoulder blades back in here. This is kind of our goal, that scapular retraction. Again, reaching through and back. You can run right through this, we're 20 in a row. So 18, 19, 20. We immediately flip over to the other side. That's the other side. Hi. <laughs> reaching through, and again we got that scap retraction going on back here, reaching back and up. If you want a little added twist to this, you can put a band here. If you hold on to the band, it gives you a little extra tug. Kind of an advanced version of that. 18, 19, and 20. Immediately from there we're going to all fours. Plus a modified push-up Y hold. So the modified push-up Y hold, what we're going to do is we're going to shut the shoulder blades back here. And then we're just going to simply raise one arm straight up in front of us. We're trying to keep that right in line with our body without, here's the kind of kicker, without compromising the midline. We don't want to over exaggerate that lumbar curve. Much like our overhead press, we're trying to keep our abs and our ribs pulled down. We hold this up here for 15 seconds, straight as an arrow. After that 15 seconds, we switch. We're going to the other side. Again, you see here, her abs are tight. She's not breaking at the ribs, creating another hip essentially. Just like our overhead position, straight line, hip to shoulder. Again, she holds that for 15 seconds. We're going to go back and we're going to switch. We're going to do each side three to four times. Keep that arm up. Again, abs are tight and pulled in. Okay. And then the other side, we run through that three to four times on each side. After that, we go to a push-up position. We do what we call scap push-ups. Essentially, we're keeping the arms locked out, the midline tight again. We're getting as big a range of motion as we can simply through the shoulders and the scapula. We're going to drop down, and then we're going to come up and round off as high as we can and then back down again. We're going to get 15 of these guys. Again, so we have that scap retraction and then rounding off and pushing up through the scaps as hard as we can. We're going to do 15 straight. We're going right through that. Excellent. And there's like 14 and number 15. From there, we're going to come over to our box. This is where you need a partner. You're going to do partner shake weights? Not really. <laughs> From there, you're going to come onto the box. And we're going to go T's. We're going to point your thumbs up to the sky, straight arms. You come up and you're just going to retract through the scapula. One, two, three, four, five. And your fifth one, the partner is going to try and rip the shoulder blades apart. And you're going to do it. It's called an overload. Squeezing for three, two, one, and back. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze and hold for five, four, three, two, one. And again, five, four, three. Two, one, and five, four, three, two, one. After four or five sets of that, we're going to turn it to W's. From W's, make field goals. Then you're going to rotate your palms and try and point your pinkies up to the sky. Go again. Five, four, three, two, one. And then the overload is squeezing, pulling the shoulder blades across. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull across. Three, two, one, and good. And again, we're gonna go through that four or five times. If you don't have a partner, what you could do is you could hold, you could do the one, two, three, four, five. And that fifth one, grab a pair of dumbbells and hold them up there, really light dumbbells. Or just try to like squeeze, squeeze, squeeze really strong. Okay, from there, we're gonna go to what we call cuff isolation. A couple of different ways we can do a cuff isolation is first is lying on your side with a very light weight, two and a half pounds, five pounds. Use a dumbbell or a plate lying on your side, strike a pose, Mel, perfect. Excellent. From there, we're going to put our, set our shoulder blade back in our socket. Excellent. From there, we're just going to keep our elbow on our side, and we're just going to externally rotate the arm. 
We're gonna go for about 15 to 30 reps. Again, the big thing here is, imagine your, uh, your, your humerus kind of just on a stake and we're just kind of rotating on that stake. Excellent. Imprinting the shoulder blades back, back there. Good, go again. We're gonna get 15, 13, 14, 15, switch sides. Strike a pose. She didn't strike a pose. Three, four, blah, 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 all the way up to 15. After that, you are done. That is our bulletproof shoulder routine. Get after it. If you don't have a partner, just no excuses. Just kind of get after it on your own. Two times a week. All the other stuff is, scap, is the mobility stuff. Hit it every day. But the scap, uh, scap retraction, bulletproof shoulders, twice a week. Get after it. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you.